Today is such an exciting video because we're decorating Today is such an exciting video because we're decorating the apartment for Christmas. We are all ready to go. I've got my Christmas pajamas on. Matt's wearing his Christmas bottoms. <laughs> Couldn't get him to wear the top today. No. Not today. And it is right before Thanksgiving. We're actually leaving to go home to my parents' house for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Yep. So we want to decorate the apartment now so that it's fully Christmas when we get back. <laughs> yeah, it mean, looks like we've got a lot of things to <laughs> We have a lot to do. Through. So I've gone ahead and organized everything. This is all of our Christmas stuff. Only a couple little things like these little trees and these lights over here were left over from last year. Everything else we had to get new. And that's just because we weren't here for Christmas last year, so we never decorated the apartment. So this is our first Christmas living together, decorating together. So we have everything for the tree. Most of this is from Target and Amazon. I'll put links to everything in the description box. And then this is our tree, which we need to decide where it goes. I think it should go in this corner. I mean, I would move this one. There, yeah, if we move that tree, we can make this the Christmas corner. First, let's set the mood. We have the Christmas pajamas on, which is perfect. I'm gonna light a bunch of candles. I just love pine woodsy smells, so I'm gonna light. Sugared birch is my favorite candle ever from Target. I've probably said that like a thousand times on this channel, but I think they discontinued it. I cannot find it anywhere this year, but I have a couple candles left from last year. So I'm gonna light those. This is a little bit left over in my fireside candle, still at the edge. I think I talked on TikTok about the Boy Smells trio that I got. This is the Boy Smells Ash Sampler. Love this. Smells exactly like a nice fireplace. I wanna play Christmas music while we're doing this, but I don't want the video to get copyrighted. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a lot of montages so that I can have Christmas music going in the background. Okay, I think we need to start with the Christmas tree because the Christmas tree is the bulk of all of the decorations. We don't have a ton of stuff besides the Christmas tree because this isn't a huge apartment and we wanted to keep things not feeling cluttered. So the Christmas tree is gonna be like the bulk of everything. So we got a pre-lit one. It's a six foot tall pre-lit tree. I grew up having real Christmas trees and it's actually like some of the fondest memories of my childhood are around Christmas time, my parents would take all of us, like all six kids, to the local Christmas tree farm. We would all pick one out together. My dad would like saw it down while we were all holding it. And then we would take the tree home and mom would play Nat King Cole Christmas music. And we would have like hot drinks and little Christmas treats and decorate the tree and then watch a Christmas movie that night. And it was like a whole day of it. I just have such fond memories of doing that. And I kind of want to replicate that vibe today. So I do have Nat King Cole Christmas music on a vinyl. I could pop that in the record player and then we could move to Spotify after that. So I might do that. And we are going to get this Christmas tree up. Let me show you what I got to put on the tree. So this one is pre-lit, but I got a bunch of ornaments. This is our first Christmas tree together, Matt. I know. This is crazy. Sun, can I get out of the way? No, okay. Sorry for the weird lighting. I have a box of little snow covered pine cones. I love the look of Christmas trees with like a dusting of snow on them. And I thought about getting that like white spray snow just to do a little bit. I still might, I don't know. But I did get these like snow covered pine cone ornaments. I wanted to go for like a really cozy like cabin Christmas. So keeping everything very natural, not necessarily neutral. I don't want it to be like beige Christmas, but like natural earth tones, that kind of thing. So I have the snow covered pine cones. I got this Christmas tree skirt that looks like a cable knit sweater. So pretty, it literally looks like a knitted sweater and this is gonna go under the bottom. I have these cool little LED candle lights. They look like that. And they're these little battery powered candles that you then clip on the branches of the tree. So it looks like there's little candles in your tree, which feels very like 
Charles Dickens to me. I don't know. I have two boxes of those. I have these wooden beaded garlands to go around the tree. And I thought about getting, um, there's also like this garland in dark red. It looks like a cranberry string. And I thought about getting that. If there's room on the tree, I might get that later. Candy canes, of course. My mom always put candy canes in the tree growing up, but she did the mini ones. So I'm doing big ones. And then the last Christmas ornaments I have are these little golden bells. So I'm so excited. I'm also trying to make a TikTok out of decorating the tree. So I have another tripod right there with my phone on it and we're just like filming from all angles so much christmas content what else to do first i think maybe the garlands i think maybe garlands first you've never heard of garlands before what are you talking about um, you just kind of like wrap well these might be tied together no i mean i think yeah i don't know maybe start that one like down we're gonna go in between in between because then I want that one to reach all the way to the bottom. Like maybe, uh, I feel like, is it weird to have the connecting part be right there in the front? Look how cool this is. It's battery powered. You like stick the battery in the bottom, put it in this clip, and then you can clip it onto the branches and it's remote controlled. Well, it's a kid. Okay, we've put batteries in all of our lights. We've tied the strings and all the ornaments. I think we're ready to do this. We're gonna give it a go. I've got Let It Snow by Frank Sinatra playing on Spotify. Let's do it. The Christmas lights fill the city There are people everywhere The snow is falling white and pretty as I stroll on my way to you. I think it's looking really good. It's definitely like one of those ones where you want to look at it with all the lights off. Yeah, I really want the like the sun to go down so we can see it all yes. together. Okay, so my camera overheated, so we let it cool down, and we went out and grabbed some food, and we took a snack break, and we finished this season of the Great British Baking Show. I'm getting kind of tired, but I really want everything to be decorated today, so we're gonna keep going. I can't wait until it gets dark outside, and then I can show you guys like the tree all lit up, very aesthetic and vibey, but we still have more to do. Let me move the burning candles out of the way. So I have this little tray on the kitchen island and it usually has some flowers. These are like on their way out. And then I just use it to have like candles and it's not really styled. It's just kind of, I don't know, a little tray situation. But I got these from Target, these like little trees and this reindeer. And I wanna make this more of like a styled intentional moment. This is like another wooden garland. I've had this one forever, but it's kind of like the ones on my trees. This is the Mrs. Meyers peppermint spray. I got the dish soap, hand soap, and kitchen spray all in the peppermint flavor. I love Mrs. Meyers and I love like the seasonal ones. I would like to still use this for candles though, is the thing. The thing is, I don't know where I'm gonna start putting flowers now. And also, I don't know. Maybe I can drape. Okay, no. I feel like this one's too big. Does it look weird to have like a little fake figurine and that together? No, maybe, oh wait, hold on, okay. Kind of like that. And then I could put candles here. Does that look okay? Hold on. I need to see it from your end. But I'm not obsessed with it. And then I usually keep like this wick trimmer here. Okay. It's not awful. I'm not obsessed with it. Is that worse? Yep. I feel like this is not horrible and it's kind of the best I can do at the moment. Okay, this area is kind of always a mess a little bit. I need to get this pumpkin out of here. I've had this pumpkin for so long. I need to get that out of here. And then this is just like a candle warmer. I don't know. There's not like a lot of intention behind this. I can switch out these. This was the apple cider scent from Mrs. Myers, which I'm switching out for peppermint. Just keep the dish soap and the hand soap up here together and then i feel like i can make that festive right we have this like catch-all dish for keys and spare change and stuff 
that I would love to put on like an entryway console at some point, but we don't have an entryway console at the moment. So I don't know, for right now that's kind of staying there. This is just a dish with like dishwashing, like brushes and stuff. So that kind of needs to stay there too. And then this is a candle warmer, which I don't have a better place for. So there's not like a ton that I can do here. I can try. I don't really know if I like this, but I have this little like Christmas countdown thing and you can pop out the blocks and like change them. So I've had this for a while. I don't know if this like fits with the theme I'm going for this year, but I might just leave it there. This is like bent a little bit, but I think that's okay. I would love to like really style these shelves out. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, so now I have these adorable little stockings. They look like this. They have this beautiful, like cozy, chunky look to them. Can you tell that I love sweaters and like knit things? And I feel like traditionally this would kind of go underneath the TV if we had like a mantle and they would go right there. Except we don't have a mantle. So I got these stocking holders. You could rest these on a mantle if you had them and then they the stockings would hang from here. But I think I'm gonna try to do it from the bookcase. I don't know. Maybe I can style the bookcase to be like really cool. And then the stockings would just like go from there. I mean, obviously it's like hanging in front of the bookcase. So I don't know if that, I just like don't know where else I had to put them. Like, oh wait, hold on. I have more little bits. Maybe I can just, what else do I have? I have this old like little Christmas plaid. Oh, it kind of matches. That makes sense because this is from Target and so is this. Um, I have this from like a, a long while ago and maybe I could use this. I don't know if this is worth doing because it's not like you can see it. No, that looks so weird. Okay, this will go somewhere else. Well, these are the little trees that I have. Now, I guess for right now, these can go here. If you have suggestions for what else to like put up here, I don't, I don't hate it. That's the thing. I don't hate it. Kind of cute. I also have a lot of string lights and I don't know where to put them. Okay, pause on that, because I just had a really good idea. I found these icicle lights that I had up two years ago, like before I even lived with Matt, and I think I want to string them around the underside of the kitchen island. We have decided to wrap lights around this column. I wanted to do both columns, but Matt said I had to pick one, so I picked this one. Well, you're not wearing your pajamas. No. We changed to go get food then. Some of us didn't get back in the Christmas spirit. I'm gonna wear mine all night. I got a large, so they would fit really nice and comfy. These are the ones that Target brings out every year. I love them. Should I try to like pass it around the back to you? Can you reach that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank well, you. I want to make sure we get the placement right because I'm gonna have to like untape and then retape. So I want it to be higher. Ideally, it would be a higher. Yeah, like starting higher up. We're done. Are you guys ready to see the reveal? I'm gonna plug it in. The candles are already lit, but I'm gonna plug the tree in. Ta! -da! We're totally done. There are some things that I still want to do, but this is what we have now. So for right now, for today, Matt's shaking his head. For today, <laughs> we're done. Okay, so I hung the stockings up here, like I said and I used that extra bit of like wooden garland on the top. And then Matt, you wanted this stocking, right? Or did you want the reindeer? I'm getting the reindeer. Okay, Matt's getting the reindeer and then I get the one with the trees. And then we can fill each other's stockings. And we'll do that probably before we go home for Christmas, probably. Yeah. So my little tree's on top. And then fireplace burning, of course. Here are the lights that we hung up on that column, which I really like. But I'm obsessed with how these icicle lights underneath the kitchen island turned out. So we have lights all through there. And then obviously, I just love having the fireplace be on. 
And then here's the tree. I love the way the candles came out. I love the pine cones, the candy canes. I feel like it's not too much, but it's not boring. One thing that we don't have yet is a topper. So we don't know what we're gonna put. Matt says they usually put an angel on his tree growing up and they did that, or my parents did that too. So we might just end up getting an angel but I guess we still have to decide. Got my little cable knit sweater tree skirt. I'm just obsessed. Okay, I turned the light back on so you can see better. For the couch, didn't do too much because there isn't a lot of room for a ton of pillows. So I just threw the pillows on here. I do really love the colors and kind of like the simplicity of it all. And then this blanket is usually on our bed, but I switched this one with the cream one. So now the cream one's on our bed and the green one is here. I feel like there's more I could do there, but I like this. Didn't do anything on the coffee table yet. I would love to put more stuff there. Here's the little kitchen island set up, really cute. And I already showed you guys this, which I'm not super happy with. I feel like there's more that I could do there. I already had these Christmas hand towels because they match our bedroom sheets. So I'm just gonna leave those there. And here is what everything looks like. Okay, so stuff that I still want. I actually still have a few things that aren't here yet. I ordered this little doormat from Anthropology called the Peaceful Forest Home Doormat. And I want this for Christmas, but I think it'll be good all winter long because it's not super Christmassy. It just looks like a little cabin in the forest and I love that. And then I wanna do something on the table behind me. I just don't know what. We do eat there every day, so I don't want anything too big. I don't know, it was kind of weird because like I just wasn't sure how Christmassy everything would look once we got it in here. But now that everything is in here, I feel like there's room, we can do more. There are two sprigs of mistletoe in the house. That one is above the entryway and that one is above the door to our bedroom. I just love holidays. I love decorating. I love being festive. I love getting in the mood for something. So I'm really happy with how everything has come out. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here just because I don't have anything else to decorate with today. So for now, this is what it is. If I get more, I will show you guys in my next vlog. I don't know what my next video is gonna be. I'm about to go home for Thanksgiving and coming back Friday, I think, but I think I'm coming back the day that you're watching this, hopefully, if all goes well. There might be more Christmas decor in my next vlog. If there is, I'll definitely show you, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it made you feel festive and fun, and I hope that this inspired you to decorate, or if you're not really into the holidays or into Christmas, I do just wanna say, like, I know it's gonna be a really hard time for some people, so I'm sending you love if that's you. Me and my tree are gonna be right here. I'm just not gonna stop staring at it all night. Once we get the angel or the star or whatever, it will be perfect. And I really hope I see you guys in my next video.